Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Today I'm going to show you a cool idea for a new way to read books. You might have known that computers have the ability to read text aloud. It's called text to speech or TTS. If you have an Android cell phone, there is a program that will actually read books aloud to you. And another thing is that you can create these books yourselves. So we think, why is this interesting? Well, let's say you come across a really long article on a website. Maybe it's like 20 to 40 pages long. There's no way that you want to sit at your computer to read 20 or 40 pages of text on your screen. It would hurt your eyes. But also, you probably don't want to spend time reading this on your phone because the phone is a really small screen and you wouldn't be able to see it very well on the screen. So you could think, well, one option is to get an Amazon Kindle or a, a dedicated reading device and read this article on there. Or you could get a printer and print out the, the article on a piece of paper. But I'm proposing a different solution. Let's make an ebook using a program called Calibra. And let's put this on your Android phone and then have the phone read the book aloud to you such as when you were running on a treadmill, walking around downtown, or even working at work. If you have some time and mind space to actually listen to an ebook while you are working. So I'm going to describe the process that I go through. And I'm also going to provide links below this video on how you can do this yourself. I have this Google Nexus S phone. It's running ice cream sandwich, but older OS would probably work too. But the first step that I do is I go to the website and I go into the web browser and go save as. I save the web page to my computer as HTML file. Then I go into a program called Calibra, which is a free open source ebook creator. And I open up that HTML file and I choose convert a book to EPUB. EPUB is the format of electronic books that works on my phone. On my phone, I've installed an application called FB Reader. I install FB Reader. This is a free application. I also install the FB Reader text to speech plugin or TTS plugin, which is also available on the Android market or Google Play Store, whichever you prefer. I then simply email the book to myself in my email. And then I use the Opera browser to open the email and save the EPUB file to my computer, to my phone. Notice that I cannot use Gmail or the Google built-in browser to download the EPUB because Google blocks EPUBs from being sent through email to your, your, computer, your phone. But if you use a different browser such as Opera or maybe even Firefox on your phone, you can download that EPUB from your email. So now I've got this EPUB that I've generated on my phone. And all I do is I open it up in FB Reader, go into the options and choose Speak. And what happens is the, the phone will read the book aloud to me and I can pause it, fast forward, or go back or select a certain chapter to read to me aloud. I'll give you a little demonstration of what it sounds like on my phone. So I'm opening up an ebook reader. This is an article I got from the web, a Canadian author named Cory Doctorow, writing about the lockdown on general purpose computing, which he, he so a general, general article about copyright laws and DRM and Companies trying to restrict what you can do on your phone. Anyway, so I'll have it read out a little bit of this uh, article. You can hear what it sounds like. Take note that this doesn't sound like a natural person reading, but just make sure that you can understand what they're saying. If you're from England, you can also change it to British English. You can also read other languages like French. But I'm going to just play uh, this little demo of what it sounds like when it reads the book. So I'm just choosing, I don't know if you can see there, in this application at the bottom there, it says speak. So I simply push speak. General purpose computers are astounding. They're so astounding that our society still struggles to come to grips with them. What they're for, how to accommodate them, and how to cope with them. This brings us back to something you might be sick of reading about. Copyright. But bear with me because this is about something more important. The shape of the copyright wars clues us into an upcoming fight over the destiny of the general purpose computer itself. In the beginning, we had packaged software and we had... I'll also provide a link to this article that my phone is reading below so you can try it for yourself.
<laughs> Anyways, I think this is a fantastic way to read books when you're not able to read, such as when you're on the treadmill or walking to and from work or even in a commute in the car. I hook my phone up to my stereo in the car and I can have my phone read me books through the, my car speakers while I'm going to and from work or driving to a friend's house or something. So I think this is a really cool technology to ability to read an ebook on your phone aloud. So your phone can convert any text on the internet into an ebook that it can read aloud. I think this is fantastic technology and I'll provide the links below this video on some tools you can use to do this yourself. Okay, this is the latest tech tip from jeffmobile.com. Hope you found it interesting and useful. For more videos, please check out my channel, also jeffmobile.com for more videos. I have posted some videos about Vancouver restaurants, other technology, new media discussions, as well as some movie reviews and my jokes of the day series. Okay, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye. This is like the upbeat version of the evil cat.